and welcome to today's journey through time and culture. I am Fraser from Syria. I've been living in Guangzhou for 17 years. This vibrant city has truly become my second home. Beyond its reputation as China's trade hub, adorned with stunning skyscrapers and advanced technology, Guangzhou also offers a unique window into the past with historical sites that date back over 2,000 years. Today in this video, I am going to take you through my top 3 favorite historical places in Guangzhou. Ready? Let's go! Our first destination of today is the remarkable tomb of the Nanyue King that is a hidden gem in the heart of Guangzhou. This ancient tomb dates back to the Western Han Dynasty. In contrast to other tombs located far from the city center, the tomb of Nanyue King was discovered in downtown Guangzhou in 1983. It belonged to Zhao Mo. He is the second king of Nanyue who ruled from 137 BC to 122 BC. The Nanyue King Museum right behind me, which houses the tomb, was built in the same location next to a business street. This isn't just any tomb, it's the oldest and the most grandiose hand tomb discovered in the Lingnan area. What's truly captivating about this tomb is the scale and the treasures it holds. The artifacts here are not just relics, they are echoes of ancient international connections, showcasing the far-reaching influence of the maritime Silk Road. And that's what makes the burial objects here extremely rare and precious, because it combines culture from different regions and countries, probably my country too. Visiting the tomb of the Nanyue King not only connects us to the deep history of Guangzhou, but also tells a story of culture, integration and artistry that shaped this region. Off to our next destination of today as we continue to explore the wonders of this city. Let's go! Now we have came to our second destination and it's honestly one of my favorite, and it is Guangzhou Museum. Look at this building, it's amazing. No wonder why it has been rated among the top 8 scenic spots in Guangzhou. As far as I know, this tower was made of brick and wood in the past. Then the tower was rebuilt in concrete in 1928, when it became home to the Guangzhou Museum that we have today. So speaking of Guangzhou Museum, this is one of the oldest museums in China. From ancient history to the present day, the Guangzhou Museum is not just a collection of objects, but it's a vibrant storyteller of the city's illustrious past. I know this place is fun, but how about we head out to an even more interesting place? Let's go! In the last stop of today's tour, we're stepping back in time to explore a fascinating chapter of China's trade history at the Guangzhou 13 Hongs Museum. This museum is located at the heart of Guangzhou. It transports us back to the 80s and 90s centuries when Guangzhou was the only Chinese port open to international sea trade. The term 13 homes refers not only to a specific area where these trading houses were located, but also to a group of Chinese merchants and a trading system that were crucial for international business during that time. The museum itself, which opened in 2016, is set on the original site of these historical trading zones. It's not just a place to see old artifacts, it's a way to understand how Guangzhou was a bridge between East and West, influencing both culture and economic developments across continents. So, to me, Guangzhou is a place where historical and creative cultures are intertwined, from being the origin of the ancient maritime Silk Road to the home for the China Import and Export Fair. The city has manifested the openness and inclusiveness involved in the Chinese culture. And that's exactly what makes it feel like home to me. What about you? What is your impression of Guangzhou? Tell us in the comment section and see you in the next video. Bye!